welcome back guys today i'm excited today i am very excited because a i'm going to my crush's house and also well tonight yeah and i'm gonna be doing first aid grabber tour and just also show you how to use this now i'm gonna do this at the very end or in part two i don't know how if I'm gonna, it might be a long time because this bag has now all of a sudden gotten heavy. Because uh, there's a paramedic that lives across the street. First off, gloves. These come in handy. You will need FFP masks. These things are work like a charm. However, after a while, you just gotta stretch sometimes. As you can see. Or else they might become. And then the metal part you have to make sure it lines up with your nose. Just grab both. Put it over your head. It does hurt a little. Not much. Depending on. Well let's just say guys. If you somebody with long hair. Don't get this. Yep. And there. Simply just like this. Then you can do whatever you need, CP. Oh, I'm not doing it correctly. <laughs> but yeah. So, these are like straight up magical. Gets rid of the scent. Once she, once the paramedic across the road, her name is Ellie, Ellie, Eleanor, I think is how you pronounce it. Once, get all my bandages and um, mousse tape and stuff. This is my go bag. So every time I go onto a call, I need to open it. Because most of the things that I would need for a call are on you. Such is in you, sorry. Such as... Oh, I need to move plasters. Okay, well. Jelinet. It's like a jelly version of plaster. Raptor shears. These are just um, stainless steel scissors. However, they specifically designed is because you have to cut, it's what they use for shirts. So let's say I have to cut my shirt. You just put it right there and then you just, and then, but you have to go there and you must go bottom. This is why this point is blocked off with a piece of metal. And you just, those are important. I have my, steth my steth, aka stethoscope in here. CPR mouthpieces, everything based my oximeter and everything that I require. Um, yeah, you know, so this is basically my go bag. Every it's in the middle. This we have. I have three trauma pad trauma pads in here, and a body fluid cleanup kit. This is a savior. And if you're ever in the medical aid, never, ever, ever touch something that is in a red bag these are trauma pads look like basically you just take open them from here take off this piece of paper which is very quick apply it put pressure onto a big open wound it can um it helps a lot with trauma there's been a few um require day, days that they've had to require this but yeah so right now and ellie does not have her car with yes um, they use cars, not ambulances, like what we all think that they use. No, don't. They don't use um, ambulances. <coughs> they are labelled as an ambulance service. However, they keep you alive till the ambulance actually comes. So they are more of a unseen backup people. This bag might weigh as much as the, a newborn child. It's, it can get heavy. Because so it's not an easy hobby. Actually, I... Let's go weigh it. If the weigher or the weight thing actually works, then I'm going to go test. I don't know if it will pick it up. It might be two kilograms. Or one to one kilogram to two kilograms. So it's not that heavy, but... <clears throat> never know. Okay. So, for the first check, it's working. Okay, it does. I'm just going to get off. 
zero case and boom looks like my bag weighs 2.7 kilo 2.7 kilograms which in pounds i don't know how much that is yeah i'll leave it there and um, no yep label straight over 2.7 don't know if you guys can see yeah now you guys should be able to 2.7 k's which is actually a lot um so yeah that's heavy and sometimes you have to hold it like this or it goes onto the back um you can choose whatever she also managed to show me her mva vest and i will show you guys the this in part two hey